Got a nice wee pitch into the green, okay? How'd you hit this shot, Davy? Oh, I'm not really that sure. Anyway, today what we're going to discuss is how to hit a pitch shot from close proximity to the green, okay? So, the number one question I always ask people is, how how would you perform a pitch shot? The first thing they would say is, I would stay down throughout the golf shot. Okay? So, if you're struggling with contact, generally hitting the ball fat, generally hitting the ball thin, then this is towards you, okay? So, the thing is, when we stay down through impact, what happens is, the radius, so the circle that we create with our arms, if we stay down through impact, then what happens is the radius of the circle gets smaller. I mean, if the radius of the, the, radius of the swing gets a little bit shorter, what happens is we're going to hit contact, make contact behind the golf ball, okay? So this is a tip that I got from Andrew Rice. So what you need to do is keep your feet planted and reach for the stars, okay? So what I mean by that is, too many golfers get into position, so from down the line view, too many golfers get into a position where they take the club back and what they do is they go over the golf ball all the time. And what that does is the chest doesn't rotate, it doesn't open up to try and hit the golf ball. And what happens from there is we're going to heave the club into the ground, almost this action, so almost that action where the leading edge is digging into the ground. Okay, so the number one goal that you have to achieve here is to hit the correct pitch shot or to correct your strike try and get your chest to point towards the sky okay? your feet have to remain planted on the ground but your chest has to hit, hit the sky chest has to go towards the sky almost in this action what that does is it utilises the bounce it doesn't dig the leading edge into the ground Okay, so we're not heaving the club into the ground by not rotating our chest if we rotate our chest towards the sky then what happens is the club hits the ground a little bit earlier we're going to utilise the bounce, almost this action so keep your feet planted and reach for the stars see there, the club's moving up the way so it's hit the ground and it's moving back up the way if I lift my chest off the ground, okay? it's towards the sky, we're not heaving down into the ground by keeping our chest over the golf ball in order for you to utilise the bounce you have to rotate your chest towards the sky let's try this again, okay? So. If you keep your chest on the ground, then it's very hard to make good contact. So get your chest to launch towards the sky, okay? So we keep the same elevation going back, but as we're coming through, we change height. We almost gain height. So think about that one. So we almost gain height. So on the whole. So guys, make sure that you put that into practice. We don't want to stay down the shot because that, that digs the club into the ground, you're not going to make good contact. It's almost going to be off the top edge of the club. So if you stand up, then what happens from there is the club skips off the ground, it doesn't dig in. Using the bounce, bounces off the ground, and you can basically, the ball's channel up the face, create more spin. So reach for the stars, get the chest to point to the stars, and then that'll make you make better contact. Any thoughts in the video, make sure you post your comments below, and make sure you subscribe to the channel at Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.